Hi, welcome to 15.2. Hi. Today we're continuing to grow in our musical knowledge and experience. And you recall that the three recommendations I made was continue to work with your instrument, which is guitar. Number two, learn notation. And three, become more comfortable and familiar with the keyboard itself. So we will be doing two of those things today, keyboard and notation, but we're going to be adding a new thing uh, that is also in here, which is we're going to listen. Listen, which would in a class might be called ear training, because this isn't music, these are just dots on a page. Yeah. But music has something to do with sound, obviously. So we'll have fun with that. Too bad my students are leaving. And you recall that the book in chapter one listed three elements of music. Can you remember what those three are? Melody, harmony, and rhythm. That is correct. And uh, so anyhow, those are three things that we'll touch a little bit on harmony. And I'm going to watch the clock and hope that we can do that. So first of all, I want to give this, my student a compliment as I review the, the work from last week. Mm. I didn't really look at this before, and I see how neat it is. The notes look so neat there, and the letter that you've given to them looks very neat. I, mm. I, didn't, I didn't really look. I didn't. Okay. This looks uh, darker and bolder, but it looks very nice as well. So that's a little, let's put, give that a star. Nice. Okay. Now the first part of this is going to be that technical, tedious practice. And so I'm going to give you some more notes to write, and then we're, so, where should oh, I should have put this, uh, let's go with Bartok here. Why don't you write the notation, you wrote a C major scale here, do you recall that? Yeah. And you, you went up the C major scale, are we still on? Mm -hmm. And then you went down very neatly. Mm -hmm. I want you to make a C major scale from the treble clef up to the middle C. That means find your C where it is down there and, okay. and do it anywhere you want. And we'll again treat so like here's a here's C, C, D, E, F, G, A, it's here, B, and then C. Very good. Now, let's go to, over to the piano. And this is partly the, the notation business, but mm -hmm. also developing comfort and familiarity. Where did you write that? Was that that? And let's do that with your left hand. And okay. Okay. I should have had you write. And why don't you just go here and write if you can. Make the scale, write the scale going down. Starting with a middle well, C I... and then go down. And you don't have to write the name of it because you're getting cut. There she is. Uh, One more. Oh, yeah, there we go. Because that was a D. Okay, now play that going down with your left hand. Thumb. Uh, and cross back. over after th now. And why don't you do that again? Okay, now in your right hand, let's go up, and you can use your right hand now and go up. Uh, cross. 
on us over on your curve. should leap to our harmony section. I'm going to have you, because you've been obviously demonstrating some real skills or knowledge here with this notation, but I'm going to move to chapter 5, harmony, and there are definitions here. Harmony has to do with the relationship of simultaneously sounded tones. This is not harmony. Right. Because it's just a note at a time. Two tones sounded together produce a harmonic interval. I'm going to circle that. So if I put hit two notes together... We're going to call that an interval. And it's harmonic in the sense that the two notes together have a certain sound. But we're going to call this an interval. Eventually, you're going to see that that's called a third because there are three, one, two, three here. And this is a fifth, one, two, three, four, five. Those intervals have names. Okay. So, now it also has, says that you could actually say there are two kinds of harmonies, uh, a sound. Now we're talking sound and we're not talking about paper with dots, consonants and dissonance. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be saying that the term consonant suggests sounds which are agreeable or pleasant to the ear, while the tech the term dissonance suggests sounds which are disagreeable or unpleasant. What a terrible thing to say. It should be recognized that the consonant dissonant concept is a psychological one related to a person's experiences and to the context of the music itself. A person whose musical experience had not included any of contemporary musical idioms would probably regard the, his first contemporary musical experience as more dissonant or disagreeable. So, but the point is, regardless of what we call things, regardless of what the dots are, music has something to do with sound. So we are going to have a little fun now. How, how, how are we doing on time? Seven minutes. Okay. So please seat yourself at the keyboard, and we are going to play harmonic interval. You are going to play some harmonic interval. Now, so far, we have not done anything with these black keys, but we are going to do some work with them today relating to sound. Okay. So I want you to, and we'll just do this slowly. Um, uh, press any key on the anywhere on here, and let's go from here up to F. This sort of middle region. Do you know would you, what is that note? E. No. I don't know. It is an A. Oh. And we let's notice here that these three black notes and the this one always is A. Three black notes. Three mm -hmm. black notes. Oh, and, right. Yeah. Right. Yes, we're familiarizing ourselves with the keyboard. So, okay. Hit A. And now with another finger, hit another note. Now listen to that sound. Just listen to it. Hit it again. Hit it again. We're, pay we're listening. Right? Okay, now hit the A and lift your foot off that damn pedal. You know what I mean? Now hit the A it's by itself. Now hit another one. Anyone, even including a black one. It doesn't matter. Listen to that sound. Listen to the sound. Keep the hit it again. Okay, good. Now start, let's get rid of the A. Let's choose another note. Now just listen to this G by itself, 
and now hit another key with it. Oh, listen to that. Hit it again, just listen. Hit it again. Okay, now let's get to another note, anyone. Keeping your G in one hand and your your left your little finger in another one. Just keep keep your G down. Now and go with another key. Oh, oh yeah. no, you you got your D down. Okay, and now with another one. And now just listen to that. Listen to it. Is it a G and an F? Is it an F? Listen to them again. Now let's do an experiment. Let's do this G with this F. Hit it again. Okay. Why don't you hit a black key now? Oh, that sounds good. Together. What are those two notes? It's in, what is that? I don't know. You know what that is. A. This is A, F, F right? and now you're going to hit the black key for the first time, and you don't know exactly what that is yet, but you will probably in the next lesson. Okay, let's hit one other note by itself, just by itself. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Okay, pair it off with an interval, harmonic interval. Oh, what are, and what is this note? G. G, and you don't exactly know what that is. Listening to. Okay, now I'm going to hit a note by myself and then you pair it off with the harmonic interval. Together now. I'm going to hit another one. Now you hit another one together. So we've been listening to those different harmonic intervals, what they sound like when... Move around on the keyboard now, doing only to harm... It sounds, it, it, and you're listening to the sound. Let me sit down. How much time? About, about a minute, maybe? Yeah. Okay. As part of our ear, the only other, other ear thing I've been asking you to do is listen to a major scale. Just here's that major scale. You're hearing it. That's, we're hearing it. I'm going to do an F major scale now. going to do a D major. E flat. Every one of those should kind of sound alike in our heads, in our ears. And I'm going to play one harmonic interval. There we go. Thank you, that's enough for today. And I think the next time you should bring your instrument and we're going to find these notes on your guitar. I'm assuming that E is your lowest note? Yeah. Nothing will ever go lower than, I don't know if it's this E or that, whatever. Nothing will ever go lower than that and you kind of find to see what the highest one is. But this is as low as your instrument is gonna go. Hmm. And Either we would mark that with, uh, let's see, this E or an E below the line. Okay. So, so bring your instrument next time.
Thank you, Jeremiah.